Bhakta Vrindu. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. So we continue reading from Srimad Bhagavatam. We are on Canto 1, I'm sorry, Canto 6, Chapter 1, Text 24. So, does anyone remember where we were? Like Parikshit Maharaj had asked Sukhdev Goswami that about the hellish planets and how we can escape that, like we don't want to go there and what is the best way. And then uh, Sukhdev Goswami mentions about the Bhakti Mark and how by Bhakti everything gets dissolved even by chanting one name of Krishna, all your sins are dissolved. And then in that context, he was, we were reading about Ajamil. He was explaining about Ajamil, that how mm -hmm. Ajamil got that mm -hmm. bhakti, how, how his mm -hmm. sins got dissolved just by chanting one name. So he was, he's now we are reading about Ajamil. Yes, thank you. So, Tasya Prava Yasaha Putra. Tasya Prava Yasaha Dasha Te Sham to Yo Mamaha. Dasha Te Sham to Yo Avamaha. Balo Nara Yano Namna. Balo Nara Yano Namna. Petros Translation and purport by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swamishla Prabhupada. That old man Ajamil had ten sons, of whom the youngest was a baby named Narayan. Since Narayan was the youngest of all the sons, he was naturally very dear to both his father and his mother. So we heard that how Ajamil, he was a Brahman before. I mean, he was a Brahman and then he got involved with this prostitute. He gave up his family, gave up his wife also. And he married the prostitute and he had children with her. And to maintain his new family now, he had become a thief. He was cheating people was doing all sorts of sinful activities to maintain the family. He was 88 years old then. Now we are hearing about his youngest son, baby named Narayan. The word Prava Yasa indicates Ajamil's sinfulness because although he was 88 years old, he had a very young child. According to Vedic culture, one should leave home as soon as he has reached 50 years of age. One should not live at home and go on producing children. Sex life is allowed for 25 years, between the ages of 25 and 45, or at the most 50. After that, one should give up the habit of sex life and leave home as a vanaprast and then properly take sannyas, ajamil. However, because of his association with a prostitute, lost all Brahminical culture, and became most sinful, even in his so-called household life. So he is 88 years old and he has a young young child called Narayan. Sab bada hridaya stasmin. Sab bada hridaya stasmin. Arbhake kalabhashini. Arbhake kalabhashini. Nirikshamanas. Because of the child's broken language and awkward movements, old Ajamil was very much attached to him. He always took care of the child and enjoyed the child's activities. 
Here it is clearly mentioned that the child Narayan was so young that he could not even speak or walk properly. Since the old man was very attached to the child, he enjoyed the child's activities. And because the child's name was Narayan, the old man always chanted the holy name of Narayan. Although he was referring to the small child and not to the original Narayan, the name of Narayan is so powerful that even by chanting his son's name, he was becoming purified. Hare Nam, Hare Nam, Hare Nam, Eva Kevalam. So that's the reason before, you see, people would keep their names, their children's names after the names of the Lord, you know. Uh, when the girls were given like that name, so that by calling the child, they become purified. Like you, we have like, you know, even in our family, we have, uh, like Ram, Purushottam, you know, Govardhan. So, names of the Lord was, but nowadays we somehow don't follow the culture and we are giving different names to our children. Srila Rupa Goswami has therefore declared that if one's mind is somehow or other attracted by the holy name of Krishna, tasmat ke napi opayena mana krishne niveshaye, one is on the path of liberation. It is customary in Hindu society for parents to give their children names like Krishna Das, Govinda Das, Narayan Das, and Vrindavan Das. Thus they chant the names Krishna, Govinda, Narayan, and Vrindavan and get the chance to be purified. So because Krishna is not saying, oh, you're not calling me, you're calling your son. He's just saying that his name, the name is there, it's Krishna himself. So that by chanting the name of the Lord, one gets purified. Bunjana Prapi Bankadan. Bunjana Prapi Bankadan. Balakam Sneha Yantritaha. Balakam Sneha Yantritaha. Bojayan Payayan Mudho. Bojayan Payayan Mudho. Na Veda Katam Antakam. Na Veda, Na Veda, Na Veda, Na Veda. When Ajamil chewed food and ate it, he called the child to chew and eat. And when he drank, he called the child to drink also. Always engaged in taking care of the child and calling his name Narayan, Ajamil could not understand that his own time was now exhausted and that death was upon him. The Supreme Personality of Godhead is kind to the conditioned soul. Although this man completely forgot Narayan, he was calling his child saying, Narayan, please come eat this food. Narayan, please come drink this meal. Somehow or other, therefore, he was attached to the name Narayan. This is called Agyata Sukriti. Although calling for his son, he was unknowingly chanting the name of Narayan. And the holy name of the Supreme Personality of Godhead is so transcendently powerful that his chanting was being counted and recorded. So, Agyata Sukriti, unknowingly engaging in devotional service, unknowingly getting pious, pious credit, a spiritual pious credit, not material spiritual because he's calling the name of Narayan. So the name is acting. Sa evam vartamano gyo. Sa evam vartamano gyo. Mrityu kala upasthite. Mrityu kale upasthite. Matim chakara tanaye. 
मयिं मतिं चकारतने माले नारायणा वये बाले नारायणा हये when the time of death arrived for the foolish ajamel he began thinking exclusively of his son narayan in the second canto of the shrimad bhagavatam canto 2 chapter 1 text 6 sukhadev goswami says etavan sankhya yoga abhyam swadharma parinishthaya janma labha parapumsa ante narayana smriti hi the highest perfection of human life achieved either by complete knowledge of matter and spirit by acquirement of mystic powers or by perfect discharge of one's occupational duty is to remember the personality of godhead at the end of life so sukadev goswami is saying what is the perfection of human life to remember god at at the time of death and whatever may be the process by by knowledge by mystic power by engaging in your occupational duty whatever may be the process but the perfection is if one can remember krishna one can remember god at the end of life somehow or other ajamil consciously or unconsciously chanted the name of narayan at the time of death ante ka narayana smriti and therefore he became all perfect simply by concentrating his mind on the name of narayan it may also be concluded that ajamel who was the son of a brahmana was accustomed to worshiping narayan in his youth because in every brahmana's house there is worship of the narayan shila the system is still present in india in a rigid brahmana's house there is narayan seva worship of narayan therefore although the contaminated ajamel was calling for his son by concentrating his mind on the holy name of narayan he remembered the narayan he had very faithfully worshiped in his youth so shla prabhupad is pointing out that because he was a brahman and he used to worship lord narayan before so when he is saying narayan now he remembered narayan although he is calling his son but he remembered lord narayan in this regard shri sridhar swami expressed his verdict as follows eta chatat upala nadi shri narayan namo charana mahat mahatmena tad bhakti eva bhut iti siddhanto payo gitve na api drishtavyam according to the bhakti siddhanta it is to be analyzed that because ajamil constantly chanted his son's name narayan he was elevated to the platform of bhakti although he did not know it so that's why earlier prabhupad said agyata sukriti he's chanting but he's not and he's not knowing that he is getting purified similarly shrila vira raga vacharya gives this opinion evam vartamana swadvija mrityu kale upasthite satyagyo narayana akhe putra eva matim chakara matim asak asaktam akrod iti arthah although at the time of death he was chanting the name of his son he nevertheless concentrated his mind upon the holy name of narayan shila vidya dwaj tirtha gives a similar opinion so here shila prabhupad is giving the opinions of the great acharyas and what they are saying they are saying that although he was calling his son but somehow the other because he was a devotee before he had worshiped lord narayan before and now when he is calling narayan at the time of death his his concentration is on the name narayan mrityu kale deha viyoga lakshana kale mrityu sarva dosha papa harasya hare 
अनुग्रह काले दत ज्ञान लक्षण उपस्थिते हृदय प्रकाशिते तनये पूर्ण ज्ञाने बाले पंच वर्ष कल्पे प्रादेश मात्रे नारायण वे मूर्ति विशेषे मती स्मरण स्मर्थम चितम चकारा भक्तिया स्मरत इति अर्थ डिरेक्टली और इनडिरेक्टली अजामिल फैक्चुअली रिमेम्बर्ड नारायण एट द टाइम ऑफ डेथ अंते नारायण स्मृति सोशला विद्याध्वज तीर्थ ही इज से दैट ऑल दो अजामिल वॉज कॉलिंग हिज सन बट ही एक्चुअली रिमेम्बर्ड नारायण नाउ ही इज डाइंग एंड बिकॉज ही इज चैंटिंग नारायण सो ही इज कंप्लीटली ऑब्जॉर्ब इन द नेम नारायण एंड ही इज रिमेम्बरिंग लॉर्ड नारायण सो दीज आर द डिफरेंट acharyas who are giving their opinion does anyone have any comments just that how powerful krishna's name is here we are reminded again even if we are not calling krishna so like how i remember like how prabhupad always said that no matter what there was the song hari krishna hari krishna in the movie and then they said prabhupad how can they but then prabhupad said that doesn't matter if even they sing it out they are not but they will get the agyat sukriti and he mentioned that so again that how powerful if we are calling out and now i feel really sometimes you know after reading this feel that अभी तो अपने बच्चों का नाम रख दिया अभी तो कुछ नहीं कर सकते बट आई फील हैप्पी दैट माय नाना जी नेम इज रामदास ही इज नो मोर बट एट लीस्ट ही इज देयर यू नो एट लीस्ट आई हैव समबडी हुम आई कैन रिमेम्बर विद दैट एंड लाइक माय बुआ शी इज अलाइव एंड हर नेम इज राधा सो एट लीस्ट यू कैन हैव दैट अफेक्शन टूवर्ड्स देम एंड यू नेवर नो दैट in one moment when you call out to them in so much love and affection then it's so powerful yeah so i'm still happy sad that i couldn't name my children but i'm still happy that i have people in my life whose names are after ah, krishna well, name you have dhruv yeah dhruv ah, maharaj dhruv. okay yeah yeah dhruv yeah well, <laughs> yeah, dhruv, yes, yeah, yeah. have should <laughs> Sure, yeah. also all auspicious. Yeah, why? No, you feel? no, huh? but it is that Krishna says no that um, like don't Are get attached to auspicious this? and not yeah calling is okay yeah yeah, yeah. but Dhruv you yeah. have yeah Dhruv hmm. yeah hmm. yeah okay yeah I can remember those events how Dhruv Maharaj yeah. did everything and how Krishna came to him yeah that's a good thing yeah yeah yeah, yeah. right. वक्रतुंडन उर्धन आत्मा ने आगता पुत्र नारायण वह अजामिल देन सौ थ्री ऑकवर्ड पर्सन विद डिफॉर्म्ड बॉडी फीचर्स पियर्स ट्विस्टेड फेसेस and hair standing erect on their bodies with ropes in their hands they had come to take him away to the abode of yamaraj when he saw them he was extremely bewildered and because of attachment to his child 
who was playing a short distance away, Ajamil began to call him loudly by his name. Thus, with tears in his eyes, he somehow or other chanted the holy name of Narayan. A person who performs sinful activities performs them with his body, mind and words. Therefore, three order carriers from Yamaraj came to take Ajamil to Yamaraj's abode. Oh, okay, so three came because doing sinful activities by body, mind and words. So three Yamadutas have come. Fortunately, even though he was referring to his son, Ajamil chanted the four syllables of the Hari Nam, Narayana. And therefore, the order carriers of Narayan, the Vishnu Dutas, also immediately arrived there. Because Ajamil was extremely afraid of the ropes of Yamraj, he chanted the Lord's name with tearful eyes. Actually, however, he never meant to chant the holy name of Narayan. He meant to call his son. So he was calling his son. He was afraid. He got so scared because these horrible looking Yamdutas have come to, to take him, to pull him out of the body. Fierce looking personalities, twisted faces, ropes in the hands. And they're going to they're gonna pull him out. So he became so scared. So he was calling out his son. But thankfully his son's name is Narayan. So three Yamadutas came because mm -hmm. what? Uh, body, mind and words. What? Words. Because of the sinful actions is done. Yeah. Two, okay. Body, mind, and words. So when, so that's the reason three Yamadutas. So always, I think, right? With three Probably, Yamadutas. Yeah. Yeah. Probably, yeah. Probably. Hare Krishna, Shilpa Ji. So is it man, karma, and vachan? Like how we say, ki man, yeah. karma, or vachan, se hume paap nahi karna chahiye. So all these yeah. three is man, karma, and vachan. Yeah. yeah. Because sharir is karma. Man is man and Vani is Vachan. Yeah. Bool ke, yes. right? Yeah, okay. that's right. Mind, body and words. Yes. Hare Krishna. Yes. So... Yes. So this is this is so clearly uh, showing, right? What you say always. He, although he was ignorant, he loudly said Narayan. Right? Yeah. yeah. He loudly ca called. So that's why you keep saying, please chant loudly. Say it loudly. Yes. Right? Yeah. 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 So, yes. Hare Krishna. Yeah. Hare Krishna. But, but, yes. Sorry. So, but then, factually, see, now that they've come, he's mm -hmm. calling out. But then you said, but it said also, it mentions that now that he's taking the name of Narayan, thinking mm -hmm. of. Narayan, right? Also. Because he was a yeah. Brahmana. Correct? Yeah. He, so because he, the story is being said now, see yeah. in what context. Sukadev Goswami is saying that even once one has chanted, then he does sinful activities. Yeah. He does not have to go to the hellish planets. It is being said right. in this context. So now yes. Ajamil, he was a Brahman, he has worshipped, now he's done sinful activities, now he's going to die. So where is he going to go now? Right. You know? But he here he was taking the Lord's name and also thinking, right? Yeah, because, because the... the, he used the to worship. Yeah. yeah, he remembered Narayan he remembered at that Narayan. moment. Krishna, uh, Actually, he's uh, calling his Shilpa ji, it's written here. Yeah, it's written mm -hmm. here. Kintu vastav mein uska mantavya Shri Narayan ke pavitra naam ka uccharan yeah. karna na tha. Na tha. He was mm -hmm. calling out his son. Vah to apne putra yeah. ko pukar raha tha. Yeah. He was wanting to call his son. But somehow or the other, his mind focused on Narayan. Yes, because he's Narayan. saying Narayan, right? He's saying Narayan and he has worshipped Narayan before. So he didn't intend to. Intentionally, he was not calling Narayan. He was wanting to call his son. But by default, he remembered Narayan. Mm. By saying the name. 
he remembered the Lord because he had worshipped the Lord before. Also, many commentators say that because he used to keep on calling his son, son's name, Narayan, without any offenses. So he was getting purified. That's why he was also able to say the holy name at the end of life. There's many commentators who say that because he kept saying Narayan, Narayan. So he's keeping he on chanting the attached. holy name. Huh? Yeah, and he was very, very attached to this. Very attached. Talent, yeah. Right? And mm -hmm. he's chanting the holy name without any offenses. Mm -hmm. So he was getting purified. His consciousness was getting purified. Right. So also that's how he's able to remember Narayan at the end of life. Mm -hmm. Nishamya Mriya Manasya. Nishamya Mriya Manasya. Mukhato Hari Kirtanam. Mukhato Hari Kirtanam. Bhartur Nama Maharaja. Bhartur Nama Maharaja. Parshada Sahasapatan. Pasada, My dear king, the order carriers of Vishnu, the Vishnu Dutas immediately arrived when they heard the holy name of their master from the mouth of the dying Ajamil, who had certainly chanted without offense because he had chanted in complete anxiety. Srila Vishwana Chakravarti Thakur remarks, Har, Hari Kirtanam Nisham Yapatar Katham Bhutasya Bhartur Nama Bruvata. The order carriers of Lord Vishnu came because Ajamil had chanted the holy name of Narayan. They did not consider why he was chanting. So Vishnu Dutas are not saying that, oh, he's meaning to call his son, but because he's offenselessly chanting, they came. So this is Nama Bhas. Hmm. So while chanting the name of Narayan, Ajamil actually was thinking of his son, but simply because they heard Ajamil chanting the Lord's name, the order carriers of Lord Vishnu, the Vishnu Dutas, immediately came for Ajamil's protection. Hari Kirtan is actually meant to glorify the holy name, form, pastimes, and qualities of the Lord. Ajamil, however, did not glorify the form, qualities, or paraphernalia of the Lord. He simply chanted the holy name. Nevertheless, that chanting was sufficient to cleanse him of all sinful activities. So because he chanted offenselessly, all his sins were washed away. As soon as the Vishnu Dutas heard their master's name being chanted, they immediately came. In this regard, Srila Vijayadvaj Tirtha remarks, Anena Putrasneham Antarena Prachina Drishta Balat Udhutaya Bhaktya Bhagwan Nama Sankirtanam Kritam Iti Gyayate Ajamal chanted the name of Narayan because of his excessive attachment to his son. Nevertheless, because of his past good fortune, in having rendered devotional service to Narayan, he apparently chanted the holy name in full devotional service and without offenses. So, Srila Vidya Vijayadvaj Tirtha, his comments is that although Ajamil is calling to his son, he's attached to his son, that's why he's saying Narayan, but because before he was a devotee, he had done devotional service, so he could chant offenseless, the, the offenseless name, Nama Bhas. Without any offenses, he was able to chant. And that's how the Vishnu Dutas have come. He, he chanted the holy name in full devotional service. So at that moment, he completely, he's just absorbed in, in the name Narayan. 
because he's so scared, so much anxiety. He's just saying Narayan and nothing else. He's not thinking of anything else, just Narayan. Although he wanted to call his son, actually. But he's become absorbed in the name. So this is the power of the name of the Lord. Yeah. Yeah, I like this part. Yeah, he got absorbed in the name. Yeah, in the name. Yeah, because he's so much anxiety. He's just yeah. chanting. I don't know if you all have had the experience, you know, that there is there's so much, so much fear or there's, there's such a situation that just call out and you're not thinking of anything else. Okay. And So many devotees say they have this kind of experience, especially like you know, during earthquakes or something like that. That there's nothing else. They just chant in the Radha Gopina temple, the devotees mentioned. That that's the best time they chanted. I think there was some earthquake or something. And that's what happened. Vikarshato antar hidayad. Vikarshato antar hidayad. Dasi pati majamilam. Dasi pati majamilam. Yam preshayan vishnu duta. Yam preshayan vishnu duta. Varayam Asur Ojasa. Varayam Asur Ojasa. The order carriers of Yamraj were snatching the soul from the core of the heart of Ajamil, the husband of the prostitute. But with resounding voices, the messengers of Lord Vishnu, the Vishnu Dutas, forbade them to do so. Scary, you know, because they're horrible looking and they're snatching him out. A Vaishnava who has surrendered, Vaishnava one who has surrendered to the lotus feet of Lord Vishnu is always protected by Lord Vishnu's order carriers. Because Ajamil had chanted the holy name of Narayan, the Vishnu Dutas not only immediately arrived on the spot, but also at once ordered the Yamadutas not to touch him. By speaking with resounding voices, the Vishnu Dutas threatened to punish the Yamadutas if they continued trying to snatch Ajamil's soul from his heart. The order carriers of Yamaraj have jurisdiction over all sinful living entities, but the messengers of Lord Vishnu, the Vishnu Dutas, are capable of punishing anyone, including Yamaraj, if he wrongs a Vishnu. So the Yamadutas, they are, although the Vishnu Dutas have come, the Yamadutas are snatching the soul of Ajamil, but the Vishnu Dutas are saying, hey, you can't do that. You can't touch him. The Yamadutas didn't know that. They didn't know because they are like, okay, anyone who's sinful, we can take them away. But they didn't know that Vishnu Dutas have higher authority than them. Materialistic scientists do not know where to find the soul within the body with their material instruments, but this verse clearly explains that the soul is within the core of the heart, Hridaya. It is from the heart that the Yamadutas were extracting the soul of Ajami. Similarly, we learn that the super soul Lord Vishnu is also situated within the heart, Ishwara Sarva Bhutanam, Hridesha Arjuna Tishthati. So in the heart, is the soul and the super soul. In the heart is the Atma and the Paramatma. Both are in the heart. In the Upanishads, it is said that the super soul and the individual soul are living in the same tree of the body as two friendly birds. The super soul is said to be friendly because the Supreme Personality of Godhead is so kind to the original soul that when the original soul transmigrates from one body to another, the Lord goes with him. So he's our best friend because he goes with us. 
And any body we take, we may be in body of a human being, a body of a demigod, a body of a pig or a dog. The Paramatma, the Paramatma goes with us. So he's our best friend. Furthermore, according to the desire and karma of the individual soul, the Lord, through the agency of Maya, creates another body for him. So it's the Paramatma who's giving us our other body based on our own desire and our karma. What's our desire and what's our karma? Based on that, he prepares for us another body. Well, it's done through the agency of material nature, but it is his order, his will. So when the Yamaduta is taking, is snatching, like trying to take out the soul, then then mm -hmm. what happens to Paramatma? Because the Par so then the Paramatma also goes. Goes with the thing, Yamaduta. You mean does... Because it is yeah. said that the Paramatma is always following the soul. Right? No, mm, but that's see, an now, important like, the question. Has done right, sinful, mm. being very sinful, and now the Yamadutas are taking right. The... Yeah, but the Paramatma is already always there with the soul. Paramatma yeah. never leaves the soul, you know. Even at the never the... leaves. So you mean does the Paramatma go with the soul yeah. to the hellish planets? Oh, hellish. that's an interesting that's what... question. I will need to ask. It's mm. one thing, right? Because if Paramatma is always with a soul. Yeah. So then. Should be happens? going. Should be. But, okay, so. There is a time where the soul is only with the subtle body, does not have a gross body also. Right. Now that's. That's some technical things. Let me try to find out and get back to you on that. Yeah, I can check. Okay. Because they, they do say that till the time the soul is in the material world, the Paramatma is always with the soul, never leaves the soul. So... Does the Paramatma go together with the soul to the hellish planet? Well, he does go with to the heavenly planets. Yeah. The Paramatma does go with the soul to the heavenly planets when the soul is in the body of a demigod to enjoy. So he should he would also go in the hellish planets, but I'll I'll recheck. <clears throat> I'll recheck this. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah, actually, the, this is something like uh, we are getting some miseries in our life. or uh, But Paramatma, even that time also Paramatma is inside our, our soul. Like he is, like per, Atma and Paramatma live together in our body. But, uh, That's right. Yeah, but what it said, like uh, you have to, like, you have to karm jo hai, bad karm, good karm. तो आपको खुद ही काटना है तो आई विल गिव यू स्ट्रेंथ टू फेस दैट टाइप ऑफ डिफिकल्टीज और मिजरीज सो इट इज समथिंग लाइक दैट लाइक व्हेन यू विल गो टू हेल अकॉर्डिंग टू योर कर्मा एंड मे बी यू चैंटेड लाउडली और यू चैंटेड बाय योर हार्ट गॉड विल या परमात्मा विल गो विथ यू टू द हेल आल्सो बट दैट टाइम आल्सो ही विल गिव यू स्ट्रेंथ टू लाइक फेस all the like uh, difficulties or whatever the things happening in the hell i don't know so it is mm, something no. like that no by the person is not chanted it's no 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 i'm answer. not talking about this uh, person no, but then like then that time that parmatma is also there right in everyone yes. yeah yes. should be yes. should yes. be yes. yeah the parmatma yes. should should be there yes i am saying because like he's always there. there yes always yeah. there he's always yeah. there Yes. So it is like how you bad or good you are, but he is always with the uh, person. Yeah, he's always yes. there. Yes. So that's okay. why I'm just giving an example like this. This is something like that. Thank you. Yes, yeah. thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So 
Do you want to stop here or you finish? How this? long is it? Is it this much? Is this here? Yeah. It's so this. let's finish. Yeah. yeah, let's. Okay. The heart of the body is a mechanical arrangement. As the Lord says in Bhagavad Gita 18.61, Ishvara Sarva Bhutanam, Pridesha Arjuna Tishthati, Brahmayan Sarva Bhutani, Yantra Rudhani, Mayaya. The Supreme Lord is situated in everyone's heart, O Arjuna, and is directing the wanderings of all living entities who are seated as on a machine made of the material energy. Yantra means a machine, such as an automobile. The driver of the machine of the body is the individual soul, who is also its director or proprietor. But the supreme proprietor is the supreme personality of Godhead. One's body is created through the agency of Maya, Karmana Deva Netrena. And according to one's activities in this life, another vehicle is created again under the supervision of Devi Maya, Devi Hi Esha Gunamai, Mama Maya Duradhyaya. So the bodies that we are getting is based on our desire and based on our karma under the supervision of, of Krishna. Uh, material nature is giving us different bodies at the appropriate time. One's next body is immediately chosen and both the individual soul and the super soul transfer to that particular bodily machine. This is the process of transmigration. During transmigration from one body to the next, the soul is taken away by the order carriers of Yamaraj and put into a particular type of hellish life, Nara, in order to become accustomed to the condition in which he will live in his next body. So first the hellish planets, the soul is taken so that he can get used to the hellish life. The, so it's like kind of, kind of a conditioning so he can get used to what's going to come next for him. So of course the transmigration, the soul and super soul both are taken both go into the new body. That's the yeah. transmigration. And yeah, here again, it's, seen, no? yeah, yeah, that's sorry. what here is just saying. That's what the soul is taken away by the order carriers of Yamaraj and put mm -hmm. into a hellish life. So it's in a, is it in a subtle form? There's no like gross body. That's something mm -hmm. I need to check. Mm -hmm. That in, because that's somewhat also I had heard before that it's, it's all this is in like a subtle, the, subtle yeah. the, there's no gross body there. And Very so that's why there's so much punishment and still he doesn't die and he has to keep on getting so much punishment. So yeah, because yeah, see, in, bodily, yeah, in the bodily machine, like say, so then yeah. the super soul yeah, is the there gross with the individual yeah, and the gross yeah, body. The gross body. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, but the so, subtle so, body... When, body, but, that's what. And yeah, the yeah. soul yeah. suffers, right? I mean, for very long. Yeah, yeah. Sense. That's why I, the same question. Like when body die, mm. the uh, Yamaraj uh, like uh, bring uh, only like he only take uh, the soul, like not gross body, but uh, the Atma and Paramatma living together in our gross body, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> So when we die, like uh, it is only the soul which is uh, like uh, take by Yamraj to the hellish or heaven, wherever it, it will go. I don't know. So then soul will punish, right? The soul, yes. soul is going to punish, right? Yes. But soul is uh, like invisible, some in invisible things, right? Yes. So how uh, is it's the in the subtle body? This is because the subtle body is still there. The soul, is, the soul leaves the gross body, but it does not leave the subtle body. The subtle body goes along with the soul, the mind, intelligence, and false ego. Oh, okay. That stays with us till the time we are in the material world. Hmm. So, in, so all this punishment he's getting is in the subtle body. Hmm. Okay, so what okay. karma we did, we all remember. Like Yamraj is going to remember us, like 
you did it yes. you did it like that and you yes. we are going to get punishment according to that right yes okay oh yeah. okay okay thank and you yeah i actually, actually didn't know day, like a thousand years also <laughs> yeah, oh my god right. yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah so yeah. scary yeah yeah since so i will clarify this yeah but anyway i i'm happy that like we are chanting so it's also yes. said right when yes that's are, what you are god so you don't have to worry you'll not go to the hell at least maybe you'll be in this year Very yeah nice. that's what krishna says right a little beginning on this path can save one from the most dangerous type of fear so he says somehow the other engage in devotional service anything yeah. just begin yeah. it it's you know to be saved from the hellish planet yes more yeah. yeah okay so i'll see you all tomorrow thank you so much shlapopad ki aur bhakti ki hari krishna